I've just rocked up to Green Slopes. We're going into Pout Hare to speak to Christy. Hey Christy, how are you? Good. Thanks for having us. Welcome. Before I came to talk to you about Waste 3, did you know um, what sort of problem the industry had with waste? Um, I wasn't really sure about the industry issue, but I knew that we had a problem with waste. We were had yeah, way too much waste. So, so what had you been doing previously um, about the waste that was coming through the cell? I'm seeing that you sort of knew you yeah. had a bit of a problem, yeah. Um, we grew quite a bit, so once we, our salon grew, we realised we had a big issue. Um, we were trying to recycle our cells, but using like the Brisbane City Council recycle bins, and but we couldn't recycle that much. It was probably only we could recycle three, like one quarter of our waste. So we were trying to divide certain things up, but um, even then we'd run out of recycle bins. We're just doing the best we could, but not oh. that much. Oh, awesome. <laughs> yeah. So what made you come on board um, and become a waste-free salon? Um, after talking to you, Bernie, and telling us what you had on offer, like it just fitted perfectly in what we needed. Having that solution where we could actually dispose of our rubbish and not feel guilty about it was perfect. Also, letting our clients, you know, I think it's a good thing for our salon to have. It's great for us and our clients to actually feel like they're making a difference to the environment. And so what did your staff think when you introduced waste-free systems into the salon? Um, some, were, some were so excited because they wanted, we you know, talked about it, and some were like a little bit scared because they thought it was going to make it like a lot more difficult than what it really was. So how did you introduce the um, repurpose fee um, to your clients and what do your clients think about the salon being um, part of it? Yeah, it was perfect timing when we started the waste free system because we had a price raise so it was great it was just one of those things that when they came in and they were more excited about that they're actually making a difference and excited to know where the hair went or where the foils went after they were being used. So who's the cell and staff member that's taken it under their wing that's the one that looks after everything when it's and make sure it's all done properly. Definitely Courtney. Courtney loves it and she really takes some control. Every Wednesday before you guys turn up she makes sure everything's perfect and you know pulls people up if they're not doing the right thing. Oh that's awesome. Yeah. Isn't that? How has becoming a waste free salon made a difference? It's been great. Like not only have we solved a problem with our waste um, it's also that, folk, that talking point in the salon, it makes us all aware even back home, like I think a lot of us, myself and my staff members are um, re, you know, doing a lot more recycling at home and making us a lot more aware about what's happening to our environment. So obviously it's made a difference. No, it's great, we really love it. So Christy, what would you say to other salon owners that are thinking about becoming waste free but maybe think, oh, it's not for me or it's a bit too hard? Yeah. Um, honestly, give Bernie a call, have a chat, see what he can do for you, and it's it's not that hard. Like it's one of those things. It's a little change in the day to day, but at the end of it, you feel great because you are actually making a difference. So it's great. So thanks so much for having us and letting people know a little bit more about waste free. My pleasure.